Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial and in this video we are going to learn how to create a soccer ball. Um, hopefully this will be a very easy and simple tutorial to follow and we're going to do it fairly quickly so try and keep up. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the scene that we're going to be creating. Just a simple soccer ball without, we won't be creating these things uh, but mainly just that soccer ball. So let's go ahead and click new, general, X to delete, shift A to add, mesh, and let's do an icosphere. Cool trick, if you don't already know, down here if you add something, you can, or modify something, you can edit it. And you can decrease the subdivisions. Now you're probably thinking, why do we want to decrease it? This is going to be a round ball. Well, what's really cool, another really cool thing, sorry, I don't mean to keep repeating that, but is on each one of these corners, it just so happens that we can have the uh, five-sided shape on it. So like, let's do this. Let's go into edit mode. And if we bevel this, this is going to create a bevel that goes from here, 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 here. So it's going to create a five-sided shape. Yeah, I had to count. One, two, three, four, five. Five-sided shape on that. So let's go ahead and click on bevel. And as you do it, you can see that it does actually create it, but it, it does some weird stuff with these. We can actually just turn that off by hitting V and we'll just get just our five-sided shape. And we can let go of it even like right here. I know it doesn't look like a one right now, but if we just, it, we knew this was gonna come up. So now we can just increase this. And our main objective is to get this, that, each one of these sides to be the exact same length, which is probably somewhere right here, so. Yeah, approximately, that's what it would be. Sweet, so now let's just go ahead and make a material for this because I think it'll be easy now that we have everything selected. So let's hit add and let's make this a black one and assign it to this. Now let's go up here and select the faces. Uh, make sure it's assigned again and uh, hit control I. This will deselect, it'll just do the inverse selection of this. So now we got everything but what we just had selected and create a new material and make it white. Now you won't see anything and you might think that's kind of stupid but we can actually fix this. If we make sure you're running in Blender 2.8 because this is a great new feature we can hit the EV button. Uh, if not you can just hit the material and it should do the same thing. But let's go to the EV one. I think it looks cool. So. Uh, we're getting really close honestly so now all we gotta do is pull out those edges so let's do that let's make sure we're on the face selection and then there's this really cool usually I would hit E and extrude things and I think that's a usually a really good one but there's even even better make sure you hit A to select everything and go in here if you hold down on this tool there's actually more tools in the extrude over here. You can hit extrude individual. And what this will do is it'll extrude this, it'll extrude this as individual members. So each face will be extruded separately. Oops, I just hit E on accident. Make sure you clicked on here and then just click and drag. And then just pull it out just a little bit. Somewhere right in there. Now if we tab out, uh, we're getting close so let's go ahead and add a modifier, a subdivision. And then, you get, okay, we just got rid of everything and now well, we have these word circles, you're, you're right. Uh, but let's go back in here and hit A to select everything and hit N and to increase this mean crease. This will pull those out and we wanna go all the way to one. Uh, let's see, wait, maybe not all the way to one, maybe somewhere in there. Yeah, somewhere in that range, I think will be pretty good. And then go to add modifier, and let's just, uh, let's add, uh, what am I doing, cast. This will make it even more round. So before we had just like these were one type of plane, but now it's like rounded. You can kind of see the, there's a point in the middle now that rounds it out a little bit more. And let's increase this to our liking. And then if we want this to be, if we want this to be a little bit higher, we can increase that. We can even increase that all the way 
if it looks better. Um, so I think that's actually looking pretty good for us right there. I'm going to increase those. Yeah, I'm liking that. And then just to shade it smooth. You can also put a subdivision after this and that will make it a little bit more smooth. Uh, just be careful not to crash your computer. If you have way too high up here and then a, like a way num high number down here, your computer may freak out on you depending on how powerful it is. And that's pretty much how to create a soccer ball. Very simply, um, there are plenty of other ways I'm sure you can do this. Uh, this is kind of a resource intensive way and there are better ways to obviously do this without so many vertices. Uh, we can even count down here. I mean we only have 14,000 but ultimately this sh shouldn't have to take that many if we compare it to other kind of shapes. But that's okay. This was really easy and um, worked pretty nice. So I hope that you've learned something in this video. Uh, this can be implemented into other kinds of things, especially like thinking outside the box at the very beginning with the icosphere. Uh, just thinking about how we can ex extract different shapes from um, interesting primitives. So uh, good luck with your creations. Like and subscribe at the bottom, and hope to see you next time.